What's up, everybody, from our at t 5G virtual studios? Welcome on into the call-up. I'm Susanna Collins. That's Jillian Sakovitz. And boy, do we have an incredible show for you guys today. It's a two-for-one special. We have had like two-for-one time guys time. Time individually on the podcast. But, but today, today, Daniel Shallowy and Johnny Russell of Sporting Kansas City are going to be on together. And these two... The, I, are there they have the funniest dynamic it, it's such a big brother little brother relationship they're total besties um but they just love to rib each other they're so much fun we have wanted to have them on together for a long time and it's finally happening and let me just tell you there are stories a plenty um, pranks galore um, we also have a little discussion about a certain um tissue that was thrown away by Lionel Messi that is apparently now on sale for a million dollars. We talk a little bit more of that later on in the show, but we cut, we hit, we hit fashion. We hit it all. Um, it's just, it's such a fun episode and I'm so excited, Jill, that we finally got these two guys on the show together. And you know, it, I feel like, wouldn't it, it would have been great if we'd had them on together last week when we were both together, you know, you know, like, that thought my, did, that that have been did great? go through my head. Oh. Um, it did go through my head, but I think our listeners can relate that anytime like you, you know, let's say you're going out with your coworkers or you're meeting up with a new friend and you bring your bestie along, like yep. my girl, Susanna, and it's like you kind of see a whole nother side of both guys. I am so excited 100. for our listeners to get to see that in both <laughs> Johnny Russell and Daniel Shallowy because the things that they say and oh. to be honest, the stories that are told and the information that is shared um, including a certain send off for John Luca Busio mm -hmm. would have never come from these guys one on one, but they just kind of kept raising the bar on each other to, to you know, yes, yeah, say it, say it. So enjoy it, enjoy it, enjoy it. Before we get to that interview, though, last week we said what would have to happen in Major League Soccer for us to get an MLS tattoo. I said very, ca very casually, I think, you know, not far mm -hmm. too high. Lionel Messi just has to join Atlanta United before the end of 2021. Susanna Fair. Collins said David Beckham has to knock on her door and say, hey, Susanna Collins, me and you, we're going to the tattoo parlor, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, and what would we get? So I've been thinking a lot about this. And then obviously I didn't remember until about an hour before the show. And then it hit me like a ton of bricks. I would get a little scarf, like our scarf. That's what I would no! You're I'm lying. Really, I'm not kidding. Because after you sent me that text message, I was like, you know, what would I get? And I was like, I would get maybe like a tiny little like I'm call up logo. Teary. I know. I did. Jill, should we do it? Oh my god. Mom, don't no. kill me. <laughs> I'm already inked. My my, it's, yeah. it, my mom's like whatever. I, you're a lost. This cause podcast at this point. and our listeners and our guests mean so much, Justin. You mean so much to me that I would get a little call up scarf. A hundred percent. I am with you, sister. Well, we've got double trouble action today with AT&T's 5G call to the field. The newly minted 2021 MLS All-Star, Daniel Shalloway, and the captain of Sporting Kansas City, Johnny Russell. And I just have to say, my favorite Hungarian and my favorite Scotsman in Major League Soccer, <laughs> for sure. Hey, guys. How are you doing? Hey, how are you guys? Okay, we have we have had you both on the show separately and we have long been wanting to get you guys on as as a tandem. How how was your first experience on the call up, and uh, how excited are you guys to be doing this together? Be today? honest. Be honest. I, I'm super pumped to do it together because I feel like I always do interviews and I always get stories heard from Johnny, and they always shift a little bit. So it's nice <laughs> to be here and like clear it up immediately. <laughs> Keep him in check. No, fact I, fact I checking. Agree. It's time to put record straight so no, I'm, I'm happy with that as well something we've been talking a lot about um last week and this week is mls tattoos and what it would take for Susanna collins and i to ink something about mls on our bodies johnny you have a sleeve so i have to ask you are any of those is there any mls action on that sleeve of yours no <laughs> okay there <laughs> what you want a little logo <laughs> no Johnny, um, what would have to happen for Sporting Kansas City for you to throw some SKC into that sleeve? Um, winning the MLS Cup. Okay. Oh, All right. That's a good answer. Daniel, what about you? Are you ink free, my friend? Well, I'll jump on that bet. If you win MLS Cup, I'll, I'll do a matching one with Johnny. Oh! I, okay. <laughs> Clip it. A small one, a small one. But you this know, is another. <laughs> this is another episode. I can already. I can already feel it. Do you have any tattoos, Daniel? No, I don't. No. I don't. 
Just hold I would be good with Hopefully the start. I always needed a reason, you know. Mm -hmm. Would your Would your mom get mad? Would that oh, no, be a problem? Care. Okay, that's no, good. She really cool, doesn't mom. care about him. No. He hasn't talked <laughs> to me <laughs> since <laughs> I left on. <laughs> she actually doesn't. <laughs> she doesn't even she care. Doesn't. <laughs> Okay, well, something else you could have gotten tattooed on yourself, Daniel, is uh, the fact that you are an MLS All-Star. You are the first, the first homegrown SKC player to uh, to earn a spot on the MLS roster. Has it kind of, has it sunk in yet? Has, like, how how are you feeling about this whole experience that you're about to have? Uh, it's it's amazing, you know, and uh, when I found that, I was shocked. And then uh, it was nice to... I break the news to the team and uh, have everybody like posting about it. It was amazing. And now it's coming up. So I'm traveling on Sunday to L.A. after a Minnesota game and uh, super excited. It's going to be fun. Um, the, the Peter Vermees video. Were you really yeah. like punked by like, did oh, you? Oh, yeah, I had no idea. Straight up. You had no idea that he yeah, was yeah. actually going so, to, to yeah, tell you. They told me that we're going to do just an interview and do like, uh, like talking about memories. And he started talking about it and he was like, yeah, so this gym, uh, <laughs> it's really small. All right, move on to the locker room. And then, yeah, yeah, so we were here. Okay, move on. I was like, what a terrible interview this is. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to watch this? And then we got to the end and uh, yeah, it was, it was very surprising. Johnny, you look like you're feeling like a proud papa over there. Oh, no, um, he, he deserves it. Um, the, the season that he's had, I don't think you could keep him out of the team, so... No, obviously he's a teammate and a friend. I'm, I'm delighted for him as well. That's amazing. Uh, Johnny, what do you think, like as, as the captain of, of SKC, why why do you think this has been such a standout year for, for Daniel? You can embarrass him as much as you want in right now. <laughs> Feel free. <Buddy. laughs> no, um, honestly, I don't feel he's done anything different than he has been doing. Um we all know that he's got the ability and quality that he's shown this year. Obviously, he's took the last two years off, so <laughs> but, uh, he's back now, and he's like, a, honestly, he's like a, a brand new signing for us. I've said it so many times this year. He's been so good for us. Um, not just these his goals, but you look at the the all round game, how good he's been for us. And now we're just delighted to have him and back firing in, in this form and. Off sabbatical. It's it's Danny, you know. It's oh not... yeah, it, uh, Peter's changed his name this year as well. So that's oh, oh wait, what was, what was it before? Just Daniel. Daniel. Just Daniel, Daniel. Daniel. and yeah, now right. it's Danny. No, it's Danny. So. Oh, see, makes all the. What difference. do your parents call you? Um, well, <laughs> his mom doesn't care. <laughs> oh, right, 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 right. What she did care though? What she did care? <laughs> she calls him "Hey you." Well, in Hungarian, it would be like Danny, but you would say it like Donny. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a different pronunciation, it but. Is terrible. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, Johnny, obviously the captain of the team. Um, he really rallies everyone together, commands respect. What is something? that you actually can do though or other guys can do that johnny will get very mad like so mad that you're maybe a little scared that he does something and i get scared yeah um i don't think johnny's that kind of captain in a way he doesn't try to like Aww. scare people uh i think it's funny because early on this season i think uh before we went to uh no it was in preseason. There was some possession game and my team lost and I was super pissed. And I uh, <laughs> I just said something to Johnny. And uh, and then he like he was walking off the field and he turned back and he was like, what did you say? And we just started going at it a little bit. But it was like two seconds. But I don't think we ever get into like real arguments. Maybe if it's Messi or Ronaldo, but that's those are not real, you know, those arguments. So Well, which side are you on? Messi or Ronaldo? Messi. Ronaldo. Messi. Oh. The only side to be on. <laughs> That's it. Oh, well, here's a question. Would you pay a million dollars for a used tissue? Oh, yeah. Did you of, see that? Of Messi. No. Did you so see it? So he has his, uh, gen how, how would you say it? What His DNA, DNA? On, the, yeah. on the tissue, and they're selling it for a million dollars, so you can clone it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you had if a spare mill. I mean... I mean, if I had a meal, I would maybe pay for it. I mean, oh, we found someone. We were just like, who's crazy enough who's to buy that tissue? Who's crazy enough to do this? But <laughs> it is it is Daniel Shallowy. I'm very curious to know, because you guys, you have such a, a, a really awesome dynamic between you two. You can tell you guys are like total bros, best buds. 
What was your first impressions of each other, Johnny? I want to start with you. I can't even remember. Uh, it was he was like a little. I baby. was the only one who understood you, pretty yeah, much. No one. When I first came in, no one understood what I was saying. So <laughs> they must have been like. And even when I first came, the training sessions, my first couple of training sessions, I was terrible. So they must have been like, "Who have we signed here?" Um, Zussi almost killed me. <gasps> yeah. First training session, ball gets switched across the field, and Zeus came like studs up, <laughs> and in my side, and it was so so on. I was like, I can't stay down. It's my first training session, so I had to get back up right away. So he got up right back, and I was behind him, and everybody was like, oh, and uh, he got up immediately. I was like, damn, this is a tough guy. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, this guy. <laughs> No, but like when you first come to a team as well, like you try and obviously see everyone and see like basically where you fit in most and where your crowd is. So then, obviously, I ended up there. We were like in the same yeah. van for preseason. Yeah, so we, we were always playing together. catchphrase and so that's catchphrase it. is one of my favorite games. I got oh, a black yeah. eye playing catchphrase. Johnny hated it because nobody understood. No understood. What he, <laughs> he was trying to explain His basic words and they're like, "Oh, we don't understand." And you're like, come on. <laughs> But um, now he's he speaks a few Scottish words. He's uh, spent a bit of time with my boys. Yeah, but you know, he picks it up off me. You as well, can't but... get too confident because uh, I met his boys already, and uh, obviously, like Johnny has taught me words and stuff, and like you start to impress them, like you want to say something, and then they start saying things back, and you're like, can't keep what? up. Johnny Russell, when we had you on the pod a few months ago, you told us about the shirt prank, and if I remember it correctly, has fault. It- it was that you cut out the chest region the of nipples. Danny's shirt. Is that, am Specific, I remembering? Yeah. yeah, specifically the, the nipples. <laughs> <laughs> it was like two perfect circles on the nipples. But this Better is one for of the you ones to say it than I. This is one of the ones we need to clarify. He started that. He put the, is it the icy hot? Is that what you got? I don't even think that was. That. Yes, it was. That's why it started. No, because that no, was in preseason was. and this was different. Yeah. Yeah, there's not a time on whatever. Time Johnny takes every prank to a different level. Who, well, who prank? Who started the pranking? Started like, what the, was the genesis of like he the, put the pranking? Is it the icy hot, the the cream, like the icy hot, yeah, yeah. like an injury. So he put that in my boxers. <laughs> Daniel, me, me and Zeus. <laughs> so we're like, oh, we have to get him back, and that's why the t-shirt thing happened but okay so yeah and we were traveling that day i was supposed to get on the plane with this shirt. <laughs> so did you wear the shirt like that though no i had to throw it away i made them pay for it <laughs> yeah we had to oh man oh i remember it was a, it was an expensive shirt yeah no nah, it wasn't bad it, it was wasn't just zara it was zara we are big fans show. of Zara on the we show. Are. Me too, me too. Daniel Some people big are. Time. <laughs> so let me ask you, um, that that was our check-in, I think, earlier in the summer. Has anything else come since? Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, I'll send you guys the video so you can clip it at this point. <laughs> okay. Um, so are we going to tell the whole story? Yes, we're going yes, to tell the whole yes. story. Right. Johnny, so, no uh, censorship. So Busio is... It's official. Yeah, he left. Okay. Uh, I don't know. We had to keep it secret for so long. I don't yeah, know. you're not breaking any news. Don't worry. Okay, so his last day, he comes in and he takes a video of him uh, like kicking Johnny's car in the parking lot. And Johnny sees it on Snapchat. So he goes outside, takes a video of him kicking his car. And obviously, Boos has to go outside again and do another video. So that's how it started. And then we're leaving to the airport and Johnny's no, like... He took another video and he elbow dropped the front of my car. So he jumped on the front of my car. So... So yeah, these and are then, expensive pranks. Yeah, but uh, at this point, eventually. nothing. But Johnny asked me, he's like, "Hey, can you record me?" Uh, uh, and I was like, like "Yeah." Traveling. What game? LA. Yeah, yeah, LA. LA. I said, like, "Can you record me?" Yeah, sure. So I'm going out in a parking lot. He starts stepping on Boos's car, like going from the front to the top of it, and obviously steps on the windshield. Pa cracks <gasps> it. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's a miracle that his foot didn't go in in the in the car and then he jumps off and we're just like <laughs> yeah. So the, the plan was to stand on the top of his car, <laughs> but as I put my weight on the windshield, it was really like the, just... the rear view mirror was, and the whole thing just came. <laughs> 
so quite John Luca Busio gets like this. You know, it's great news. You're moving on, and you guys yeah. just no, break his windshield. To see his you last later. day. Hey, thanks <laughs> for saying goodbye. So your call. Goodbye. Did um, you pay to have yeah, the to windshield yeah, repaired? What cars are we talking here? Okay, I want to know what what is Johnny and John Luca Busio's cars looking like? Like, what kind of cars are we talking about here? So I have the. It's like the Hot Wheel edition of the Camaro. The oh, Camaro cash. Okay. <laughs> like total muscle car. Uh, yeah. this, I and feel he, like this fits, yes. And he had a Mercedes. So <laughs> I smashed He probably just Mercedes. bought AMG, that with like his AMG. new like bonus money or something. <laughs> my God. And the video, so my initial reaction is shock because I like couldn't quite believe what had happened. But then I've looked at his face and I lost it. I started laughing. Like he's... Just complete, like, no expression on his face. He's just, like, stuck. <laughs> and then we started dying laughing after. So we had to go in and tell Boos for, like, what I had to was, give him a car. What was his, what was Gianluca's reaction? He what, did, he, did he laugh? Oh, he, laughed. Yeah, he, was laughing. he actually took it extremely well. Okay. Um, How I think he was so hyped about his move that he didn't really, right. like, process he it. Like, he was like, oh, yeah, my windshield. And, um, I, I don't need this Mercedes. To drive around for the next couple of days oh. until he got it fixed. Does Peter happened. find out about when this stuff happened? He found out right oh. away. Yeah, he, <laughs> because we were going. Just said that it had to be you. And I, was, I just got scared. Like I, my anxiety scared. level just like spiked when you said Peter Vermees was right there. What yeah. did, was he? Was he? So he was did he think it was Bruce funny? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, he was laughing. He, I think he's. he's he was like, of course it's you, Johnny. It's, That's it's what he said. <laughs> so he's just. I think he's gave up caring. At this point. He's just like, <laughs> you know, do what you want. This wow. is amazing. So what, like, are you guys in the process? Like, do you have, a, are you already thinking of the next one? Like, do you have ideas? You don't have to share them right no, now, but I just I'd, like. Mines are always in retaliation. Like people like Kim are just like, oh, I plays pranks, but they always do something first, but then. You're I'll just take sticking it, up for yourself. I'll take it to an extreme. Yeah, where but the, he takes the, it to the, a level. Where, pretty I, was on, I was in the car when he called uh, his wife telling this story. It's like, oh my God, Johnny, your foot. What the? She was freaking out. Yeah. Well, I would you know be what? too. On that note, let's play a little round of Know Your Teammate. Who is more likely to miss an event because they overslept? <laughs> uh, this actually um, happened this year. I didn't know we had training and I, I was just sleeping at home. Just missed a training session. You I didn't know sleeping. you had training. I thought it was after a game. I thought we had off. And I woke up to this. Johnny called me 10 times. And I, I FaceTime and I called him back. I was in bed. And he's like in the locker room. I'm like, oh, my God. And I had to walk in. Showed, in the up, of showed up in the middle of Peter's meeting. <laughs> With my just flip flops. Flip flops on just... <laughs> Walked in. Yeah, so it would be me. <laughs> I hate being late. I hate people being late. So, hundred percent. Okay, that's spoken like a true captain. Um, who has better taste in music? You know what? I'll give you this. It's a very similar taste in music. Yeah, but he does the music before the games. So yeah, I do the music. I'm actually. I think I'm good at pleasing people's taste too. But I think. Both have similar tastes. We've gone to concerts together, so yeah. we went to. You went very Latino based recently, though. You've, you've <laughs> too much to poison. Yeah, because Pulido looks at me and he's like, but oh. and you're like, oh, sorry. Yeah. It's to get like some points with Alan Pulido. Like, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alan Makes will sense. just come in and take over, though. Yeah, you play your music on a speaker and Alan comes in with a bigger <laughs> speaker and he just starts playing your music. So you're like, <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Who is easier to tick off? No, 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 no. <laughs> no. You. What do you mean? I could make you I could make you mad before you could make me mad easily. What about in training sessions when they training don't call a good a good call for you? Training sessions. Don't count. <laughs> what do you mean? They count to, it's Johnny, 100 percent Johnny. No. You can get mad at a I don't know, Sue. Who looks more mad to you right mad. now? I'm He's already mad. mad. I'm just saying you can get mad at a, a decision in training, but that's not. If you calm it, your voice down, it's you're still mad. We can hear. I know, it. no, I know, I can hear it. I can hear the, like the, the level of the voice elevating. How do you like Daniel? What would you do to like piss him off? Like what would be like? Do you know it just kind of like pushes his buttons? Um, 
Well, probably like the mess, anything with Messi, I think that, <laughs> that pushes it. He's and a Messi song, I don't know. I always feel like when we start talking about something, he already makes his point early. So it's like you just say something on the other side and he's like, oh. so it's, it's, I think it's funny. Speaking of funny, who is funnier? Johnny. It speaks for itself. <laughs> This is no. This is not even. Johnny, Johnny entertains the whole locker room. He's he's very good at it. That's why he's the captain. All right, who um who's the better cook? Me. Can you cook? Yes. I mean, I'm terrible, so you're probably yes, better. Okay. Than me. <laughs> I have to cook for my kids. What's your signature dish, Johnny? Um, I've got like a little chicken fingers, <laughs> <laughs> little chicken dinosaurs for the kids. Um, <laughs> No, I make like a, a pre match a pre match pasta, uh, like a pesto. That I'd, I'd probably, if I was to make one, it'd be that. Yeah, that sounds delicious. I, yeah, I can make that too. But yeah, that's some goulash. Is that? Some... Yeah. Yeah. Some. Come on. Some, some Hungarian. Some, some Hungarian delicacies. <laughs> uh, I'm. I'm just terrible. I think. I'm. Once I'm lazy and I'm bad too. So. Uh, no. At least you're self aware. Yes, yes. I'm the only trying to convince <laughs> I'm not convincing anyone of this. <laughs> okay. Who is more competitive? Johnny. We are very competitive, mm -hmm. but yeah, I as I said in training, I think it comes out more for Johnny. I think he's yeah. Even if I'm playing a game at at home. I'm going to beat my kids at the game. <laughs> well, we oh, saw you. We saw you. <laughs> you nutmegged your daughter. You nutmegged your she daughter. The ball was too big for a little thing. My, <laughs> I mean that. They gotta is learn just, early. Right? You're like the ultra competitive dad, aren't you? Oh yeah. If we're playing a game, then I'm playing it to win it. <laughs> I feel like Blake will be like that too. Yeah, she is. Oh, I love that. Starting them young. Uh, last but not least, who has the better fashion sense? Sense. Fashion sense, I think it's different. Yeah. Um, Johnny's suit game is top notch. Can't compete with that. But I'm more like the little bit younger version, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit more more streetwear. Yeah. I'd say Daniel for like a casual fashion, mm. like if you don't mm -hmm. really care about your appearance and then if you're actually getting dressed up to, to look good, then that's that's funny. <laughs> Yeah, oh, next question. <laughs> the, man, the man shops at Zara. Come on now. <laughs> well, this Zara, is a perfect Zara's segue. A nice Big fan of Zara's Zara, a nice yeah, yeah. It's best. Yeah, it's a pure man's They don't have one in Kansas City. What? Yeah, exactly. Every time we travel, we have to like have oh, go you to guys. a store and buy there. Online shopping. Write them an email. Well, and here's the thing, too. Jill and I were just talking about it. Zara's sizing can be really crazy. So, like, oh, when you yeah. order stuff online, sometimes it fits and sometimes it doesn't. So, I have to return it's a lot. Very. Of stuff. Yeah, that's my beef. Yeah, that's my beef true. with Zara. The website. The website's terrible. a mess. So this actually transitions us perfectly into our next game. Um, we promise our final game. Guys, so we put together a few of your signature looks, which again might be um, like casual chic and three piece suits. I'm just saying. Uh, so we are going to have you rank them and say if you would wear that outfit or how you would style it differently, like if you'd wear it again. Um, oh, yeah. Ooh, okay. That's a good look. That's Floods. Good look. He's got the okay. short pants on. I'll get through that. That's a good look. Please. I got my hair cut the day before, fresh, bold. You look Daniel. like you're feeling yourself a little bit. Yeah, in that. Daniel likes that's pretty like subtle for you, but yeah, he likes, I think, uh, yeah, flamboyant shot. Yeah, <laughs> the little bowling shirts yeah. and stuff. Yeah, yeah. If you wanted to go bowling, he's that's got a few shots for you. He's got a few shots. <laughs> we got I, it. I love it. And I mean, when we go out, more and more drinks, more and more but like, yeah. <laughs> So at the end, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, Johnny Russell, you're up. Ah, that's like one of my favorite ones, to be honest. I went I went to go suit but casual. But I like it though because you're always three piece, but I, I always like in the summer to wear yeah, like a t-shirt. So a that's t shirt why under the up. under the suit. So I, I like it. I think it's it's something different. Mm hmm I do. I like I also like the sunglasses in that one. Very John Lennon. Very yeah, John Lennon. I feel yeah. like I feel like the sunglasses kind of just make make that outfit. Oh, a little vest. I see. What's going on here? Um, yeah, so the size I have jail and shoes in the back. <laughs> <laughs> the size of his feet. 
I actually like this look on myself. I haven't worn this vest since. Um, Seeing it now, are you thinking maybe I should bring the vest back? No. <laughs> okay. Johnny, what about this one? This is when you went for that casual vibe. Yeah, so this was a game I wasn't involved in. So this was a this was a League's Cup game, I think. Yeah. Um, so I knew like, I wasn't I knew I wasn't playing. Yeah, I was like, when did you show up like this? Yeah. So I knew I wasn't playing, so I was like, mm. no need for the three piece. And, 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 and you, you watch the game. Though. He won, I was just gonna say he won a gold medal at the Olympics as well. I know it's apparently. my kids. <laughs> it's, my, it's, 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 not, it's my gold medal. So yeah. <laughs> I got a chain with my two kids on it. So that's oh okay. Forgiven. All right, Daniel. This is is now is this is this like an entire denim ensemble that we're looking at right now? What what's happening here? I I love this jacket. I think the color is awesome. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, it's very typical of me to yeah. show. Okay, yeah, it's very Daniel. <laughs> you mentioned typical. This is really the now, Johnny Russell look. And if anyone else tries to pull it off in MLS, yeah, they just exactly, cannot. Exactly. Johnny, this is you to a T. Is it not? That's uh, a it's a good three piece. Up. Very good, very good. Enjoy. Where did you get this? Uh, uh, this one is suit supply. Suit supply. So. Yeah, this is nice. nice. Yeah. This is now Daniel. Would, I, I would you have to throw a suit on that? I mean, that it is, it's just such a I, we were talking about this earlier when we were going through these photos. Jill and I were like, I feel like you almost have to be like either European or you know, just not not American basically to pull off a three piece suit. Would you <laughs> would you agree with with that? Because I just don't think uh -huh. I don't think so, like just the average guy, like I couldn't see like Graham Zussi rolling up in a three piece suit. I'd be like, what is going on? What is that? I think he would look good. In yeah, I, think you do? No. I don't know. I don't think that would be. I, d I just, he doesn't have the swagger that, that Johnny hey, Russell. Zeus is sitting right here, by the has. way. Yeah. Zeus. Zeus. Well, no. Susanna said it. <laughs> <laughs> Ask him if he would rock a three piece suit. No, I'm just kidding. He's not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I, I stand by my opinion. I don't think he would. No, no, no. Before but, we let you go ahead, Dan. I Dan. It's not that I would love Dan. to wear the three piece suit. I would love to try the the kilt. I would want to wear that. Oh, one. there we go. Now see that's would you Johnny that's, that's Johnny, Johnny would you ever would you ever make the game day entrance in a kilt? On a kilt? No. Yeah. No. Okay. No. no, that's uh that's for like weddings and stuff. I okay. Mm. Special would you people. wear it to Daniel okay. Shallowy's wedding? Yeah, 100%. Yes. Okay. Cool. Yes. 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 I'll be best Look. man. Of course, I'll be best man. Special. That's adorable. That's adorable. On that note, you know what? I think that's if our perfect If you don't pull ending. any pranks on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of pranks. Scaring him. The bachelor party. I don't even want to nah. know. I don't we even want to. We went to Gelso's wedding. Was it Gelso? Yeah, yeah. Gelso's wedding, <laughs> and I wore my kilt there. And uh, Daniel, video on again. B's pulling a prank on me. Where I lifted the the back of my kilt and had a cup of <laughs> water and water ice. with ice in it and <gasps> threw it up under my kilt. Hey, hey, proud and himself. I was just I was himself. just recording. I was the camera man. <laughs> you were himself. complicit though, and I mean yeah. it, it's true because like I I know what they say about kilts is that you're not wearing anything no, no, no. underneath it. So Great yeah, sportsman. that's that, what they say. Yeah, so you, don't wear anything you don't wear anything under the kilt. Your birthday suit is under. <laughs> Wow, I did Do, not know Stu that. Holden, Stu no. Holden told me that. Guys, thank you so much. Wait, uh, Jill, we what? have one more question what? for Daniel because we were just talking about oh, weddings. I didn't want to ask him that. Oh, no, we're asking him this for sure because Daniel, as, as you recall, I'm sure it was probably one of, the, one of the best days of your life when you were on the call-up and we you were our bachelor right. because you were supposed to be the SKC bachelor. And so we yeah. kind of did like our own little bachelor for you. And it ended up being, we, we matched you up with Haley Seinfeld and yeah, which we were him. like, yeah, I mean, any, any updates there? Did, did she give you the follow? Like, uh, no, no, no. He's off the market. But yeah, I guess, uh, I'm oh, off the market off right the, now. You're Someone off the market. The yeah, yeah. yeah. Breaking news. <laughs> Breaking news. Breaking news. Oh Daniel my God. Shelley. No, no, Daniel no. Shelley. It's very fresh, so we don't have to talk about best man yet. But anything. Daniel but... Shelley. Johnny Russell. A bachelor. No up more. your spot. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no bachelor. 
Oh, get those kilts ready. I hear wedding bells <laughs> coming I'm for so you. happy we asked that question. All right, on that note, thank you again to our favorite Hungarian and our favorite Scotsman in Major League Soccer. And honestly, a club that always comes through here on the call, Sporting Kansas City. Guys, thank you so much. We're rooting for you. We love what you're doing over in the Western Conference. And uh, Keep we going, guys. guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Good that. to see you. Here for this. Okay. I have got one for you, Jillian Sakovitz. And this one, this is a little wild. I am, I'm 99% sure that this is an actual true <laughs> story that I saw on Twitter this morning. So apparently... A tissue that Lionel Messi used at his press conference when he was saying farewell to Barcelona is now on sale for $1 million. You heard that right. $1 million for a used tissue of Lionel Messi. Now, in within this tweet, it said that the, a guy that was there took it after the press conference, and then the idea, the reason why it's going for so much is because it now has Lionel Messi's DNA in the tissue, and perhaps one day could be used Ooh, to this clone just him. Dark turn. To clone him. Okay? This sounds like an invasion of privacy. So this is, I mean, this is, this is as far out there as it gets. And if you are spending $1 million to have a piece of Lionel Messi's DNA, I have to wonder what is wrong with you. Um, because here's the thing. I am not here for this. This is just, this is, this is taking fandom to levels of stupidity that I can't even quite comprehend. I am well, not here bought, for this. Not here you, for this. Have you ever purchased... This okay, so I love memorabilia, but memorabilia that is a memory for me. Sure. So if I was at that concert or I was at that but like I wouldn't even want a Whitney Houston tissue and I really love her. Mm -hmm. So that begs the question, have you ever bought I guess yours would be Chicago Cubs, have you yeah. ever bought memorabilia? Because some people like I grew up in New York and like you'd go to someone's house and they'd really want to show you this uh, Babe Ruth autographed Yankees yeah, baseball sure. that they paid a ton of money for, but they have no actual attachment to that. And that mm -hmm. I that I can't wrap my head around. No, I, I, I don't think I've ever really done that. I know my dad has a few baseball cards that I think he bought at a, a Chicago Cubs convention. Um, I definitely wasn't wasn't spending top dollar on it, you know, um, and I and I get the appeal of that. That I do not have a problem with me personally. No, like I Jill, I get grossed out at the end of games when guys do the jersey swap because I'm like, that's sweaty jersey and ugh, like germs. i've hugged gross i've hugged a couple guys that i'm like friends with them, yes. their families after and i'm like no ugh. it's yeah it's not pleasant it's not Sweat. pleasant so i just this this no i'm just gonna say a okay. hard not here for this are you here for buying expensive memorabilia that i mean the yeah the tissue just takes it way no too far. let no, us no, know no. if you have a million dollars to spend on a T used tissue with like snot and tears on it like there are there are other ways to spend your money i'm just saying just saying we also had some retirement announcements this we week. We sure did. Jillian Zakovitz. We had Rodney Wallace signing a one-day contract with the Portland Timbers to retire as a Timber, which I thought was really cool. I kind of love it when – I'm here for that. I'm, I love it when, when players do that and teams allow them to come back for one day to retire with that team. I think that's really cool. And the other one is Carly Lloyd announcing her retirement from U.S. Women's National Team. She's going to go on this tour with them, and then she'll finish out the season um, in New Jersey with um, Goth the Gotham FC team. But after that, it's curtains. And I have to tell you, that one shocked the heck out of me. I honestly thought Carly Lloyd would be playing, like, into her 50s. No joke. I just like she's you that type of player. You thought she would be the Yaramir Yager, yes, who is still playing yes. in, I believe, the Czech Republic right now, hundred um, percent at fifty. Yeah, uh, in in um, playing hockey. Yeah, well, you know what, Suze, as they say, leave the party while you're still having fun. And rather than U.S. soccer in the next cycle, kind mm -hmm. of changing their people, uh, she's smart, and like you said, she'll finish with Gotham FC, and uh, she's a New Jersey girl.
Uh, Peter Vermees told me on SiriusXM that he could see Carly Lloyd being a great coach. There's mm-hmm. some epic people to come out of South Jersey. Carly Lloyd, Peter Vermees. So, yep. you know what? Finish off your party in New Jersey. Heck yeah. Yeah. And uh, leave the party while you're still having fun. And I don't think this is the end of um, seeing that old guard, as we call them, that we love so much of the U.S. Women's National Team uh, doing such Definitely a thing. Definitely not. I, Someone, you know what, though? She is, what? If she does go into coaching, she is going to be that coach that is like... She's going to be like she, Yeah, no, she literally will like get on the field with them. Like she, it's gonna. I feel like that would be a hard transition for her because all she's going to want to do is be out on the field actually playing. Um, someone who's not retiring, though, but has just etched his name in the history books of Major League Soccer. Here for Dax McCarty. Um, eclipsing 400 games. He becomes the sixth player in MLS to do so, joining the likes of Nick Romando, Kyle Beckerman, Jeff Lorenowitz, Kevin Hartman, and Chad That's Marshall. That's incredible company to keep. Those names, I mean, these guys are absolute legends. And Dax, our very first call-up guest, um, right. he was our, our inaugural guest on this podcast. We're so, so proud and happy of him. Did you see the post game with him and Callum? His son, yeah. It was Callum, like, looks dead at the camera. And it almost looked like he was going to, like, mess someone up. Like he was yeah, like, he, he gave that like that intense stare. And I was like, oh, there we go. He, he the, wasn't, the next generation. Of he wasn't McCarty's messing around. Was um, not. And I just want to leave everyone with this before we go. Uh, I thought Joseph Martinez could never beat himself with his quote of that. He is likes to go to Orlando because he gets to see his kids like dead. Kill me. I can't. Orlando's That's daddy. hilarious. But um, he may have kicked that up a notch this week when he's kind of very Nicely said that Barco's like his son. Barco had an assist to Joseph's goal. Very beautiful. Oh, my God. And then one of the reporters actually chimed in and was like, wait, so if Barco's your son and Orlando's your kids, like, are they then brothers? And Joseph, without skipping a beat, responded, well, you'd have to ask Brad Gazan because he's the mommy. And I thought that was adorable because it's hilarious. (laughs) And... You know, we all know that the moms are very often the bosses of the household, mm-hmm. so it's a compliment to the boss man, Brad. But I want to know how um, how Brad's feeling about that. We are less than a week away from all of the action of the 2021 MLS All-Star Week. So if you haven't gotten your ticket, be sure to do so. I can't wait to see it. And there's so much going on that week from the MLS All-Star Concert presented by Heineken to the MLS All-Star Skills Challenge presented by AT&T 5G to the game itself on August 25th. There is no shortage of amazing activities going on all week in downtown L.A. So, the call-up. We will, in fact, be there. And we will be live. So, come hang out with us. Come say hi. Guys, watch, watch the magic unfold live right before your eyes. You know, it's, going, it's, a, it's a chance to kind of pull back that curtain. <laughs> you're see, right. See how the special sauce is made. This is, this you're is an opportunity this of a lifetime. <laughs> so, come hang out with us. Here's the info. It's at Expo Park. Um, which is the plaza between California Science Center and the African American Museum. It is at 2 o'clock Pacific time, and it'll be at Coca-Cola Beats, Cleats, and Eats. Beats, Cleats, so, and Eats. Yep, with a slate of guests all week, you know, stopping in, hanging out. Uh, that's going to be where all the action is. Uh, you can get your tickets, don't forget, at MLSsoccer.com for the game. But as for hanging out with Susanna Collins and I, come stop by. Come stop by. Say hi. We'll take selfies. I mean, just listen. The, this, is, this is a big deal. This is um, my first work trip in like 18 months. So, this, yeah. This, you're, this, you're going out in public. Listen, this feels like a huge event. I have to actually show my face in public and wear clothes that – does not have an elastic waistband around it. So, whoa, you could. whoa, guys, big, big, big time right now. Um, also, in the spirit of MLS All-Star Game, um, you can get even more in the spirit with Pluto TV. Every single day this week, Pluto is airing an All-Star Game per day with um, the All-Star Game marathons on Sunday, August 22nd, starting at 1 p.m. Eastern, and Wednesday, August 25th, starting at 9 a.m. Eastern. So just tune into Pluto TV, um, the MLS channel, or channel 712, and relive some of your favorite MLS All-Star moments um, over the years, because there has been a bunch. So listen, all the All-Star content you could ever want right on Pluto TV. 
And Ooh. there's a lot more content coming your way besides the All-Star Game. Get ready, Heineken Rivalry Week kicks off this Friday with back-to-back -back weekends of rivalry action starting August 20th at 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time. The Cali Classico on ESPN2, ESPN Deportes, and DAZN closing out on Sunday, August 29th. Sounders and Timbers, a hey, classic hey. face-off. Oh, um, did you watch that game this weekend? Holy moly. Eight goals, people. Eight goals in that one. That's a, that's a nice little aperitif um, for, this, for this one. And again, that one will be on ESPN, ESPN Deportes, and DAZN for a full Heineken. Oh, I almost got through this read I by know. saying I was just saying. Heineken Rivalry Week schedule. Head over to MLSsoccer.com. That is the vein of all I, MLS broadcasters' existence. I Heineken love, Rivalry Week. I absolutely adore Heineken Rivalry Week, except for the fact that we are forced to say Rivalry Week. It's very hard. All the time. And it is not. it does not roll off the tongue, and I struggle with it. You know what you have to terribly. do all week? I haven't. But I learned that if you want to not get hung up on words <laughs> like that, you say red leather, yellow leather. Red, red leather, leather, yellow, yellow leather, leather. Red leather, yeah. yellow leather. So let's do that till we, We're gonna till have we to get practice. through rivalry I know. Week. Literally, people on the plane next to me are going to be like, this girl has lost red her darn leather, yellow leather. My um, guys, thank you so much for listening, for watching. We will see you in Los Angeles, baby. Cannot wait. What's up, everybody? It is Susanna Collins and Jillian Sackovitz, co-hosts of The Call Up. And if you want more Call Up action, hit like and subscribe right here on YouTube, right there. And also make sure that you download every episode of The Call Up every single Tuesday at 5 o'clock Eastern Time or anywhere that you get your podcasts. And while you're here, why not check out some of these other videos as well?